another restoration video. This time I've got a Matchbox number 9 AMX Javelin. So this is an AMC Javelin, but they call it the AMX Javelin. And it's pretty beat up too, and I've also seen that it's painted. I don't remember who painted it or where I even got it. I've had it for a long time. But it's got a nice, it's got opening doors, and it's a pretty cool car, so I wanted to restore it. And I'm just spinning it around on the uh, turntable here. We'll start every restoration by taking the car apart and looking at all the pieces that are inside. So you take the top part off and there is the windshield. It's an orange windshield and it's a little scratched but I'll work on that later. There's the engine and also the uh, dashboard. And then there's the interior. It's connected to the base with rivets. I never disconnected that though. So this is the body. And you can see on the inside that it used to be green. This is what the car used to look like. This is the original car. It used to be this nice green color, but now it's been painted red and it's all scratched up. So there's all the pieces and we'll start by dipping the car in acetone. I've got a can of it here and uh, this is how I usually take the paint off cars as I don't have any of the spray on paint stripper or anything like that. You just put the car in it. And it usually doesn't take too long, maybe an hour, for the paint to strip, but sometimes with some cars it won't strip all the way. And you'll have to like use a brush or a screwdriver or something to scrape the paint off. But usually it works really well. Now that I've got the car out of the acetone, I'll use a, a wire brush on the top to try and get some of the paint off. But I find that that doesn't work very well on this because it's probably not a brass brush, it's a steel brush. I don't know if those would do any difference. So I use a, I start using a screwdriver on it. And I'm not going to make you watch all of it because it's a, it took quite a long time to get all the paint off. And with some of these cars, it can take a long time to get the paint off or it'll just come right off with the screwdriver. As you can see, it kind of comes off with the screwdriver on the door, but it's a slow process. And you can see I got some off the roof. There, I finally got the car done, enough where I want to sand it. But first, I will use a drill with like a 1 16th drill bit, I think it is, to uh, drill a hole in the rivet so I can screw a screw into it when I'm done. And now you can see that there's a hole in the rivet so you can screw a screw into it. sure to hold the paint about a foot away so the paint doesn't run and doesn't get too far on the body. I just use a paper plate to uh, put onto the car when I paint it, but now I've started holding it with a pair of pliers so I can get more even coat of paint on there. And now you can see the first finished coat. So here's the final car. Um, I got everything done with it that I like, and uh, I'm really happy with the way this one turned out because the paint's pretty good, and uh, a lot better than the green one that I had recently done. And the wheels are pretty good, and everything else turned out really nice. 
So I'm really happy with it. And the door's still open. The interior is red in, on the inside. And the door's open really good. The wheels are a bit scratched, but that's okay. I don't mind it. But other than that, that's really good the way it turned out. I really like it. So I got some more cars that I'll be working on. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.